Well, I have my next fight uh, oh, yeah. set up for UFC 194 uh, against <laughs> Michelle Watterson. And when I saw her fight, uh, Maganya, who I had previously fought, I said right away, text Sean Shelby, said that I wanted to be, that, to be my next fight. But she got hurt, you know, broke her hand. And uh, I thought they'd give me someone else, not make me wait until December. But um, fortunately, I got the fight, but I had to wait until December. So another six months without fighting. Uh, sucks because I wish I would have fought, you know, three or four months from my fight, you know, stay active. I've only had two fights this year. This will be my second fight. I hope next year I'll have at least three. Watterson is such a, you know, a hyped fighter, you know, despite this being her, her debut in the organization. Do you see a win over her being able to sort of, you know, just make you shoot up on your rankings? I think I'll say the same in the rankings. I'm already number five, and she, I think, is like number 10 or 11, so I don't think it's going to change in the rankings. But I think it'll just definitely solidify my spot in number five and just keep me there. And it'll put, push me forward to have another great fight like Michelle Watterson. You know, coming off the Angela Hill, I wasn't too happy with that matchup. This one I'm really excited about, and I'm really motivated. Did you lobby to be on that 194 card? Because it's a big one. No, like I said, I wanted to fight before then, so uh, it was told to me that I'd be on the 194 or the one in Orlando, so I was up for either one. You know, Orlando would be close to home, and uh, I'd be happy with that too. Did you try to, were you even asked about the, um, to get the um, Joanna, fight, Joanna fight in Melbourne? No, not at all. I wasn't asked at all. Uh, they just went to Valerie, to be honest with you. Um, that was a shock. You know, she's from my camp. I'm happy for her. I think she's going to do well. But uh, yeah, it was definitely a shock. I didn't think that would happen you know, on number five. But uh, at the end of the day, I looked back at it with my coaches, and uh, it was best that I, they were, didn't ask me because I probably would have said no. Um, I think that I'm young still in my career and young still in age that I have enough time to get better and evolve before I go against Joanna. And that's what I want to do right now. I think Michelle Water it's a good fight for me and um, a good win, and I think uh, a couple more past her, uh, I'd be able for a title shot. What do you think Val needs to do to sort of you know, impose herself on that fight? I think it's probably going to be a striking fight, but I think she'd need to be a little bit more like a point fighter. It's something that I've done in my previous fights that I think would match up well. In and out, don't let her overwhelm you. You know, she seems to overwhelm the girls, keep them on the cage, and that's when she goes with her own point fighting. That on the cage, I feel like it's her softer punches, and they're not soft, but that's where she lights them up with like 20 punches. They're not damaging, but they look really good in the judges' eyes. But outside, that's when she has her power shots. But I think they need to go in and out, and if somebody can take her down and keep her down, that'd be amazing. I know Claudia Gadelia fought well against her, and uh, but she wasn't able to keep her down. Claudia Gadelia is one of the bigger, you know, strongest fighters at 15, so uh, Joanna Champion's a real deal. All right, what would you say is the key to defeating Michelle Watterson? So defeating Michelle Watterson, that's the same thing I've done in my previous fights, uh, you know, in and out, like I said before, the Joanna fight would be good as well. And just uh, showing a variety of strikes, I think that's going to be the fun part of our fight. She just comes from karate, I come from Taekwondo and American Freestyle Karate. I think we'll see a lot of different types of kicks and uh, she does the point fighting type things in and out too and punches and bunches, so it's going to be a fun fight.